Monsignor William Lynn didn't talk to reporters as he left court, but his lawyers are coming to his defense. Lynn is the only U.S. church official ever charged with endangering children after allegedly transferring priest predators to unsuspecting parishes. The former high-ranking church official, two Roman Catholic priests, an ex-priest, and a former teacher were in court Monday. Lynn's four co-defendants are charged with rape and related crimes. The charges involve sex acts that allegedly occurred from 1996 to 2000. The church's first priority um, was not to um, its duty to the students of the schools, of the archdiocesan schools, but first to protect the church's name. Um, it was a conspiracy of silence and acquiescence um, to ensure that the church's uh, reputation and to avoid scandal. Lynn's attorney said their client was never responsible for any individual child, and they're requesting a preliminary hearing. We get to see evidence, of course, but what we, more importantly, what we get is an opportunity to find out exactly what the Commonwealth's theory is vis-a-vis -vis our, our clients endangering the welfare of a child, okay? I mean, it is a stretch. Lynn was featured prominently in a scathing 2005 grand jury report. It found 63 priests in the Philadelphia Archdiocese had been credibly accused of child sexual assault over several decades. And local church officials are accused of turning a blind eye. And until they're held accountable for their actions, they will continue to shield and protect these predators, allowing children to be harmed. The Archdiocese has pledged to refer credible complaints to law enforcement. Since the grand jury report was made public last month, the church has suspended 24 active priests named in the report as child molestation suspects. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.